안녕하십니까? 어, 닥터 스티브 이지 헨즈온의 김경원. Hello. This is Dr. Steve Easy Hands On. My name is uh, Kim Kyung Won. At this time, I'm going to talk about I'm Cure Kid. And we place the implants, and the patients use the implants, but uh, sometimes we encounter mucositis or perimplantitis. To diagnose perimplantitis, treat it, the surface of the fixture can be polished or detoxified using this uh, collection of special tools. This is called the I am Cure Kit. Characteristics of I am Cure Kit. First, mucositis or periimplantitis can be diagnosed and the implant fixture can be polished or detoxified. Such tools uh, make up the kit. Various cases can be approached using various tools. So diagnosis tools, soft tissue tool, polishing tools are available in the kit. To treat a perimplantitis, fixture surface can be polished or detoxified. Smart brush 1 and 2 are available. In stage 1, the surface is polished and uh, using the smart scale of metal, a uh, finer polishing of the surface can be made. Next, number 3, the, this can be used to clean the foreign body like a calculus on abutment and the crown surface. So this is to clean foreign body on abutment and crown surface using smart scalar plastic. Components of the IM Cure Kit. First, the diagnostic tool and crazy cure is available to treat uh, soft tissue and uh, implant surface polishing tool. First, uh, plastic probe, perimucositis, mild soft tissue inflammation, and minor alveolar bone resorption can be diagnosed with the plastic probe, which is more flexible than the metal one. Basically, the periimplantitis, if the pocket depth is over 4 mm, it is dangerous. If it is 3 to 4 millimeters, we need to be careful. So, uh, depending upon the plastic probe depth, the classification can be made. For depth, metal probe is available. Periimplantitis can be diagnosed using the metal or plastic probes. So, you can choose uh, depending on a situation or case. Next, the curette. Uh, Gracie curettes are available. Uh, in the I'm Cure kit, three Gracie curettes are available. 1 and 2 and 11 and 12, 13 and 14. Three types of curettes are available. It is used to remove the uh, calculus or root planing can be done with this. Basically, in the anterior region, 1 and 2 grazy curette can be used, and for premolars and molars in the posterior region, 11 and 12 can be used for the mesial, and 13 and 14 uh, for the distal region, uh, so that they can have good access. So the minimal three curettes are available. Next, Smart Brush 1. This is to treat perimplantitis by polishing the surface and uh, for detoxification. So, oh, there is a long and short versions of the shaft. When horizontal bone resorption or dehiscence defect where bone exists on one side and dehiscence on the other, to treat the perimplantitis, the fixture surface is polished using this instrument. Of course, uh, 
to do implant surface polishing, copious cell line irrigation should be made. So in doing the macro polishing, heat generation should be minimized and um, damage to the surrounding tissues should be minimized. Smart Brush 1 is mounted on the contra-angle handpiece at RPM of 12 to 1500. There are threads on the implant fixture. Per screw thread, it should be used for about a minute, and it should be prohibited from using it for more than four minutes because it may damage the fixture so it should be used for about a minute. You can use the autoclave, and this is for single use only. Next is Smart Brush 2. Smart Brush 2 is rotating when working. It is for fixture surface polishing or detoxification. It is used in one wall defect where vertical bone is resorbed, exposing the top part of the fixture. It is designed to polish while covering the top of the fixture. The basic specifications include F4.0, 4.5, F5.0, 5.5, F5 these are the basic ones. Narrower or wider fixtures uh, can also be connected. When you apply the Smart Brush 2, if it goes in rotated, the damage can occur. Therefore, it should be connected to the top of the fixture first before doing that. When you use a Smart Brush 2, it is connected to the contra angle handpiece at 12 to 1500 RPM. Uh, per screw thread, you need to use it for a couple of minutes. You should not use it over three minutes. Autoclave can be used, and this is for single use only. There is a protective screw which can be connected to the top. This is to prevent the foreign body going into the internal connection. So in order to use this smart brush to abutment or prosthetics need to be removed and the protective screw should be connected to protect the structure. Next, the smart scaler. There's metal and plastic versions. The metal version, as I said before, using smart brush one or two, after the polishing is done on the fur surface, a finer polishing can be done with this. Ultrasonic type scaler can be connected. This is metal, but it can be bent as it is designed, so you can access the desired area in an easier way. Smart scale of metal is for the final polishing. It is designed to give minimal damage to the fixture surface. Ultrasonic can be used for the fine polishing. Uh, for each thread, you need to use it for 30 seconds, and this is for single use only. Next, Smart Scale of Plastic. This one is to clean the foreign bodies on the abutment or crown surface, like a calculus. So the tip of the plastic should not be used on the fixture surface. If you do that, the debris on the plastic tip can contaminate the surface. Therefore, uh, the smart scale of plastic tip uh, should be used on abutment or uh, crown surface to remove the foreign body. As I said before, the protect screw. Smart brush 2 or 1 can be used. Internal connection, the internal of the fixture can be protected by this. After abutment or prosthesis is removed, 
uh, protect screw can be connected. There's a mini and a regular versions. When we polish the implant surface to protect uh, the internal part of the fixture or uh, prevent foreign bodies uh, from entering into that. Easy hands-on. Through this hands-on, um, I'm going to explain the components of IM Cure Kit and uh, how to use it. Using the IM Cure Kit, Smart Brush 1, Smart Brush 2 can be used to treat the periimplantitis by way of polishing the implant surface and detoxification. Smart Brush 1 is used on the lingual side, bone remains. The fixture surface will be polished. Next, Smart Brush 2. Using this brush, top of the implant is completely exposed. There's a no bone. It is one wall defect. Then Smart Brush 2 can be used to polish the surface of the fixture. I'll come back to the hands-on. I'm Cure Kit is used in this hands-on. Today, Smart Brush 1 Smart Brush 2 will be used to polish the surface of uh, fixture. This is a detoxification. Uh, it is white model, so it is not clearly visible. Therefore, alveolar bone defect is marked with red pen. For your understanding, alveolar bone defect marginal area is marked to show the defect at number 36 cortical bone is damaged on the lingual side in 37 area on the buccal side the alveolar bone has the defect internal hex or other structures can be protected uh, and the foreign bodies are prevented from entering into that therefore protect the screw will be connected first 1.2 hex driver is used to mount the protect screw to protect the internal of the fixture. Next, Smart Brush 1 is used for number 37. Smart Brush 1, the short one, is selected. The engine mode is set at 1200 RPM. Smart brushes are all for the single use only. Smart brush is used. The surface of the implant is polished. Per screw thread, you should not use it more than one minute. So it is uh, polished like this to prevent the damage to the surface. Excessive polishing should not be done. SLA surface um, is turned into about milling surface. Using the smart brush, mechanically, the surface of the fixture is polished or detoxified. Clinically, not only the mechanical polishing, chemical detoxification needs to be done. Smart brush one is used to polish the surface of a fixture compared to this, the implant surface is polished. After using the smart brush one, smart scalar metal tip is connected to the scalar for the final polishing. The scalar is not demonstrated in this hands-on. The scalar can be used for the final polishing. For number 36 location, 
A bond effect extends to the lingual side, so a smart brush too is used to polish the implant surface. Diameter 5.0 fixture is to be used, so smart brush 2's F5.0 5.5 is going to be used. RPM is set at 1200. When you use this smart brush too, if you go into the fixture while rotating, the smart brush itself can be damaged. Therefore, smart brush too should be set around the fixture first. As you can see, polishing is done throughout the surface, roughly per screw thread. This polishing should be done for about a minute. Copious cell line irrigation should be used to reduce the heat generation. Smart Brush 1 and Smart Brush 2 are used to polish the surface of the implants. Smart brushes are for the preliminary polishing of the surface and the metal scale tip can be used for the final polishing. We have some questions. The first one, after using the smart brush, is there a possibility that the surface of a fixture is damaged leading to fracture? Actually, smart brush is used to polish the or detoxify the surface of a fixture because when alveolar bone is destroyed a lot due to peri-implantitis, uh, so, smart brush is to polish the surface, as I said uh, during the hands-on. Um, it is advised that uh, excessive polishing using smart brush is not very good. The fixture wall would be thinned and uh, it is not good mechanically, therefore excessive polishing is not advised. I hope. This is helpful for your successful implant surface polishing. Next question. After the polishing with a smart brush, can we graft bone? Uh, these days, people pay attention to periimplantitis. Personally, I'm not a periodontist, so I don't have a lot of experience of periimplantitis. After the mechanical polishing, chemical detoxification can be done and uh, GBR uh, can be conducted after that. But the bone graft prognosis in that case is not as good as the bone graft on fresh site. Therefore, you need to be careful. Uh, regarding the periimplantitis, rather than me, uh, if you look at the master course uh, lectures, uh, periodontists like Dr. Yang Seung Min um, have uh, provided the courses, so please refer to those. I hope you would successfully deal with the periimplantitis or mucositis um, with good prognosis. Thank you for your listening.